Hey folks, happy Saturday morning rant. Back in Harlem, long, busy fucking week, but a good week. And what makes it a good week for me is not that I'm not working with organizations that have struggles. It's that I'm working with organizations that have struggles and are showing up like the fucking people like they say they want the world to be. Like, that's the thing. Like, you can't change the world if you can't fucking, like, clean up your own house. And so, yeah, organizations have challenges. That ain't the problem. The problem is how you respond to those challenges. And whether you're, like, saying you want to save the world and reduce mass incarceration and increase racial justice and engage in social justice. And then you be up here, like, crushing the soul of black and brown people within your own organization. That's the problem. That's the problem. Like, the organization I work with this week, they got their challenges. But the first thing they say is not, like, how do we crush this person? That's where the problem lies for me. That's why these rants. And you know what's crazy about these rants is, like, I don't ever have to name an organization. I just got to name the issue and people just out themselves, hit dogs, holler. Like literally people be out in themselves or sometime I'll say some shit about what I see organizations doing. And like, I get like five DMS about five different organizations that are doing the same thing, but I'm also not into the cancel culture shit. So I'm not going to be up on social media naming organizations. I do a little bit of revenge every once in a while, if I'm being honest, but most of the times I'm not up here trying to name organizations because I don't see no value in that shit, to be honest. The truth is, either you're going to take the value out of this. Either either you're one of those people that hear me doing these rants and you're like, I'm glad he's calling out the bullshit. Or you one of those people that's causing the bullshit. And that just, I ain't got to do nothing to make that happen. Like, that's just you. That's your conscience. That's who you are. But what I see happening in some of these organizations with, like, the toxic shame and they're trying to crush people and trying to make it so people can never work again and all that sort of shit. Like, damn, y'all are fucking wicked, more fucking wicked than corporate America in nonprofit most of the time. And I know some of y'all is like, yo, why the fuck? He should shut the fuck up. I get it. I know y'all want me to shut the fuck up, but sorry, like you can't fucking try to crush a nigga and then he go out and rebuild himself in a different way to protect himself from y'all. And now y'all mad about that shit because the only ones y'all that are mad are the ones of y'all that have proximity to power and privilege. And y'all are leveraging that shit and trying to keep other people crushed. I just don't do that shit no more. I just don't do it. And look, I'll be the first person to talk about it. I used to play that game. I used to be in the middle of all this shit. And while I tried not to be out there hurting people, I'd be a goddamn fucking liar if I didn't say I was trying to position myself in the organization I built as the one people were giving money to. Because I did know it was a competitive space. I don't see people as competitors. I try to put a good fucking product out there and people invest in it or they don't. But I'm also not fucking stupid. Like, I've been around a lot of nonprofit leaders and not just white folks. Like, I know y'all want it to be just about white folks. I'll be the first person to say white folks can be harmful as fuck. At the same time, black and brown folks can be harmful as fuck, too. Like, oppressed motherfuckers becoming the oppressor. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, they will move your ass from pet to threat just as fast as any white person in the nonprofit space. And so I've seen it. I've seen, I've worked with black and brown nonprofit leaders that in the room is all smiley, smiley and jokey, jokey with the people they say they care about. And then they get in the hallway and they just express what the fuck they hate about the people they got to work with. And they just lose fucking sight of why the fuck they doing the work in the first place. And it becomes all about whether the fund is going to get their money or whether somebody's going to get in the way of them getting the money from the funders. That's what the shit is all about. Like all the fucking, like instead of the pictures, the postings, the memes, the, the, like instead of all that shit being about the actual fucking work, right? Like it's actually, it's, it's actually mostly about like convincing funders that you're running the organization that should get the money. And I'm not criticizing you because I'm in a position to say that that's what's going on and calling it out. Like I'm one of the only people that could do that shit because I really don't give a fuck about these funders in most cases. At the same time, I'm saying it because I used to fucking do it and I used to see it and I used to be all up on it. And that's the thing. Like, I literally used to fucking be part of that shit. Like, how the fuck do you think I raised all that money in a short amount of time? Like, I was willing to be the fucking poster child. Let these foundations feel good about investing in the nigga. They was like, yeah, that's the right. That's the right one right there. Like, he represents what we think we can accomplish in the world. We love him until they don't. That's the other thing. Motherfuckers say they want to work with people directly impacted. And as soon as some shit get messy, they will trade your ass out for the next directly impacted person. And the problem is that our black and brown asses be all ready to get in line for that role. People think because you're sitting in the, on the fucking throne that you control the kingdom. You don't. You just occupy. You just warm in the motherfucking chair until people decide they don't want you there. So it's laughable 
it's laughable actually so i'm just like criticizing everybody fucking present company included myself included but i just want to call that shit out that's what the fuck these rants are about it's about trying to see a space emerge whether it's the whole nonprofit space or just the criminal justice reform space which is the space i care about the most in a way that you know what actually the drying up of funding let's talk about that shit for a minute the fact that the fact is that the funding is going away like people know that the funding is shrinking like funders that literally was fucking gung-ho about criminal justice george floyd gets murdered they put tons of money into criminal justice literally haven't even spent the money that they promised during the time after george floyd was murdered and they all getting out now oh we do education yes we focus on it oh no 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 we focus on health care health care is uh where our focus is now going forward like you know those foundations are finicky as fuck and they're starting to move away from criminal justice. And what's happening, unfortunately, is one, you got the weeding out. Like some of the people who wasn't here for it in the first place are just gone, either because crime went up a little bit a couple of years ago and they didn't have a fucking story to tell about how to handle that. Or or they just realize it's too fucking hard to raise money in this climate and they didn't sign up for that either. Like they signed up for some easy money because there was a lot of cash flowing. So those people are leaving, they going. But then the people that are left, Yo, it's getting even fucking more vicious. Like people are literally coming after each other harder and they're all doing it behind the scene. That's the other thing. It'd be one thing if people was like, yo, let's get on stage and have a conference about who's doing the right work and who's not. That's not what's happening. Y'all, y'all smiling in each other's faces, kissing each other's on the cheek, going to each other's fucking conferences and all that shit. And then behind the scene, y'all like, I hate that motherfucker and watch what I do to make it so that motherfucker don't get that grant. I'm not supposed to say that out loud, right? Damn. What the fuck? I'm fucking... Ah, that's too bad. Uh, I think I just... I think I just violated some kind of rule. Oh, you can try to... You can try to cancel me. Oh, you can try to cancel me. Yeah, good luck with that, motherfucker. I'm not a subscription. But, uh... Hey, hey, let me try to land a plane on this one for a second. Let me try to land a plane. So... And let me try to land it on a positive note. Let me try to... Like, last week was Valentine's Day. I tried to do the, like, let me send a loving message thing i don't think i really hit the nail on the head so let me try to do that this week there's organizations out there that are some are led by white people some are led by black people some are led by brown people that are doing really fucking good work like really good work i don't even want to name them either i I don't want to name the bad ones i don't want to name the good ones because i don't want to play favoritism and i don't want to like have an organization sort of aligned with me because i know how y'all get down But there's organizations out there doing really good work. Y'all know who the fuck they are. Y'all know who they are. It's organizations that have some of the same bullshit going on internally, but it's how they show up in those moments that matter. And I'm glad to say I know some of them. I support some of them. I roll with some of them. I support a lot of them behind the scene. And the ones that are not, the ones that are toxic, everyone knows who y'all are. Everybody know who y'all are. And the thing y'all get away with is that y'all got the closeness to the funders that everyone is scared of. And some of y'all just come right out and fucking threaten people. Like I literally have heard y'all on audio tape threatening each other. Like I'm the access to funding. Like if you don't fuck with me, I'll make sure you don't get any money. Y'all literally, that's almost word for word. At least one of y'all know what I'm talking about. So look, you know, y'all keep doing what you're doing. One thing I know is over time, like I've been through so much shit that one thing I know is literally the passage of time and fucking just the a fucking smidgen of karma means that in the end, the people who are doing the work the right way from the right place for the right reasons are the ones that are going to prevail. That I know. Even if some of us be consequences along the way, even if some of us run into the blunt fucking side of movement building, that happens. Some of us get knocked out the race, all good. But let me tell you, one thing I know, one thing I know is a motherfucker who's been through a lot of shit at the hands of some of y'all in some cases is that motherfuckers who do shit from the right place for the right reasons will prevail and you toxic, nasty, mean-spirited, unhealed motherfuckers, in the end, y'all gonna lose. That I know. Because the people who are driven for the right reason are motivated by the people they left behind in prison cells, the people they left on probation, parole, electronic monitoring, all of this fucking heavy-handed soul crushing fucking state sponsored violence like that is enough motivation for people to outlast 
you toxic little motherfuckers who are trying to earn your little six 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 figure salaries and just cause harm to each other. So y'all just keep doing what you're doing and come for me. You know, don't come for each other. Come for me. Come for me. Let me be the one you come for because I'm I, I'm so prepared for you to fucking come for me. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I like I, I just be wanting to get this shit off my soul so I could go on and live my life. And fucking have a great weekend. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let nobody steal my rainbow. I don't give a fuck. No permanent friends. No permanent enemies, motherfucker. So you decide how you want to show up. But if you show up the right way, people know this. People who show up the right way, they know they could come to me. They know that. That's one thing. And if you're one of those people getting crushed out there in the space, come to me. If you are out there getting crushed because you did something wrong or because you didn't do something wrong, come to me. I will tell you how to navigate that shit. I literally took a master class in how to deal with the woke fucking progressive mob trying to cancel a motherfucker. And I will teach you how to navigate that shit. Come to me. Put your ego aside. Put your pride aside. And holler at me. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. Don't let nobody steal your motherfucking rainbow this weekend. Be good, y'all. Peace.